Have you ever made pickles at home? No? You totally should. It's super easy, especially quick pickles like the pickles I'm gonna make today. They're so easy, in fact, that you can make them whenever you want. Even if you only have one cucumber around, you can make pickles. I have two English cucumbers, but if you had Kirby's, which are even better for pickling, I would use eight to make two jars. You wanna slice your cucumbers about an eighth of an inch thick. You can cut them in wedges if you want to. You can slice them lengthwise if you want to. It really depends on your preference. You're pickling in a vinegar brine instead of fermenting the pickles like you normally would find with like a deli pickle. As long as it sits in the brine long enough, it'll penetrate and the whole thing will be flavored. So it kind of doesn't matter what size or shape you're cutting your cukes into. I'm doing little chips. When you're pickling, you wanna make sure to use cucumbers that have few seeds and not use a regular cucumber, your like salad cucumber. There's too many seeds for pickling. These pickles are gonna need to be kept in your refrigerator because I'm not processing them, but if you wanted to do that, you could look up how to do it on freshpreserving.com, which is the ball website. They have lots of great info. Add these to the other cukes. And then sprinkle them with a tablespoon of coarse salt. Toss the cucumbers with the salt and then let them sit for up to three hours. I would put them in the refrigerator if I were gonna leave it for three hours. And or you can add a bunch of ice in there and that actually helps them get even crisper. Make sure all the cukes are nicely coated and then just leave them alone. And when you come back, there's gonna be a bunch of liquid in the bottom of the bowl. After an hour, you'll see that the cukes are all wet. That's the moisture that's been pulled out of them. And in the bottom of the bowl, some liquid has collected. What you wanna do now is just rinse the cucumbers off, because you wanna rinse off some of the excess salt. And that's it. They're ready to get into the jars. Get in the jars, pickles. <laughs> all right. I have two quart-sized jars, and I'm gonna put my cucumbers into the jars. You might notice over here that I have pickled some other stuff. Here I have fennel. These are Kirby cucumbers that I sliced lengthwise to put on sandwiches. These are red pearl onions, and back here I have some green beans. You can make the same brine and quick pickle pretty much any vegetable you want. In any case, I'm just doing your classic cukes today. Layer them into the jars with some dill. You don't need to add the dill, but I like it. A couple sprigs of dill every couple layers. If your jars aren't full enough, the pickles float in the brine. It's not the worst thing in the world, but your jar will end up not being very full because you add hot liquid and it shrinks the vegetables. Top them off with a little more dill and then I'm gonna go make the brine. Why don't you come with me? Over here, I'm gonna make my brine. I have a medium pot, three cups of white vinegar. If you wanted, apple cider vinegar would be just as good. To that, add one and a half cups of sugar. Pretty sweet brine. I mean, you could use less sugar if you wanted to, certainly. Some people don't really like sweet pickles. Two teaspoons of coarse salt. Even though you salted your cukes, you still want to salt your brine. Half a teaspoon of mustard seed. These are whole mustard seeds. I have yellow, you could use brown. Half teaspoon of celery seed. That's a hallmark flavor of a bread and butter pickle, which is what this recipe is based on. And an eighth of a teaspoon of turmeric. If you wanted it a little bit spicy, add a couple of chili peppers here. Dry or fresh would work. All you need to do now is stir this until the sugar dissolves and bring it to a boil. Once the liquid comes to a boil, it's ready to pour over your salted cukes. I like to do it in a measuring cup because the measuring cup has a spout. It just is more accurate. So I transfer it to a measuring cup. If you have a preserving funnel, you can use that too, but this is the way to do it if you don't. You wanna add the hot brine to your jars to completely cover your vegetables. You might need to press down on them just a little bit to make sure that they are completely submerged and that the liquid doesn't come too far up to the top. You wanna to leave at least a half an inch of headroom. Make sure that you cool these to room temperature before you cover them up and put them in your fridge and you can enjoy them for the rest of the summer. Make extra and share with friends. They're gonna love them. Of course, they can make them themselves because they're so easy. Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click here if you want to subscribe and click over here if you want to continue watching more great videos like this.